everybody. Ben here again with Ben Ventures. Thanks for joining me. Right now I'm heading over to Chilliwack. And it's a place near Chilliwack Lake along the river. And I'm just stuck in traffic, which if you're from this area and this province, which is British Columbia, the traffic is atrocious. Uh, but I'm heading over to a specific area along uh, the Vetter River in Chilliwack. I'm expecting that it's going to be crazy busy. Uh, it's Thursday, but uh, I'm expecting there to be a lot of people. But hopefully, I can find a, a place that's quiet, that's kind of off the beaten path, and that's uh, by the river, uh, so I can keep my water cool and everything like that. So, yeah, just on my way there. I'll bring you guys along with me. And as always, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. If you like this content, just hit that like and subscribe. I don't know how you guys feel, maybe just throw some comments in the comment section, but I feel like ever since COVID hit, a lot of people are camping a lot more, so in my area, it's next to impossible to book a public camp site. It's next to impossible. They're all full for pretty much the whole camping season. So if you are looking at camping around here, you have to look at the backcountry or other areas to kind of set up your tent because it's all just full. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, so I think I found a spot here that should work well for me. It's right beside the river, uh, just off the roadway, and plus, there is a porta potty here, so that's perfect. Let's go check it out. Good, I can have a fire there. Or if I want, which I probably will end up doing, is I'll probably end up camping right here along the river. Just along here. That's not too bad of a sight. I'll take that all day long. There's been a lot of flooding across the lower mainland, including this area here. Um, and this river is usually just flooded with salmon and uh, a few other types of fish, but yeah, as you can see, the water levels are just really, really high and it's really fast flowing. But I think I will call this home for the next night.
So for this trip, I decided to get the store-bought wood. It's very dry, it's gonna burn very quickly. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You cannot grab wood from around here and burn, uh, burn it for your fires. It's uh, very prohibited. You're not allowed to do it, and you'll get a fine. So this trip, it's just gonna be fast burning dry wood. I'm just going to set my tent up right here so that there's uh, a bit of tree coverage in case it decides to spitter, spatter a little bit. But uh, yeah, it should give me a good enough amount of coverage with the trees here right before the water. If I go any further, I might get rained on a little bit too much, so just going to set it up right here. Now I realize my footprint is a little bit too small for this tent. I got another one on the way. Yeah, just, I've got the wrong size. So I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to prep any food for this trip, which I usually do. So in this case, for tonight, it's going to be chunky baked potato and bacon soup from a can. I'm just going to heat this puppy up, uh, get some food in me, and uh, get started on the fire and uh, split up some wood and things like that. Let's just put this bad boy on there. Definitely gonna have to turn the heat down, that's for sure. And let's just wait, stir it up a bit. Is it weird that I kind of want crackers with this? Uh, oh, maybe, I don't know. Gotta make sure I don't burn it because it's in, cooking in a narrow pot. Let's try the soup. The majority of the viewers that watch this have had it. It's just salty and preservative in it. But it fills the belly. So it doesn't really matter when you gotta do like this anyway. So it's all good. It doesn't taste very firm.
one thing I don't leave home without is this guy here. It's the Bear Banger. I'm sure many of you have seen it. Basically, one of these bad boys goes on the end of it, screws on, fire it, shoots up in the air, and bop, a loud pop sound. Uh, it's by True Flare. And uh, there's different, different ones. This particular one here whistles. Uh, I think it pops at the end, I'm not sure. Uh, but this one whistles very loudly. I've had numerous encounters with bears, and uh, I can tell you that this works very, very well. Obviously, you don't shoot it at the bear, you shoot it up, and it, it pretty much scares them away every time. Uh, so, I always have this with me anytime I'm camping in the background. Backcountry woods. So, here's my setup. Pretty basic. You know, it's pretty roomy in here. Uh, just got the pillow. This is my MEC down sleeping bag. I got a few sleeping bags, but this one uh, seems to I like it. It's comfortable. Yeah. So the air mattress I'm using today it's by Gear Doctor. Um, I got it on Amazon and to be honest with you, I, I love it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I just bought it. I've tried it out a few times already. It doesn't lose the air. It's really comfortable. It's pretty easy on the back. It's thick enough not to be an issue. And obviously it comes with its own plating bag here. You know, it's common these days, but very happy with this product. I, I have had no issues with it. Um, yeah, so nothing but good things to say. Gear Doctor is the name of it. I got it on Amazon.
Hey guys, check this out. Just a crazy thing of fog that's kind of rolling in here. I don't know if you can see it. But it's just rolling in. No idea where that's coming from, but it's kind of cool. Pretty neat. So I got the fire going. She's a roaring. Not too bad. trip I typically just bring one bevy, one cold brew. Uh, this one here is a Widowmaker IPA. Uh, so it's from Backcountry Brewing. Uh, I've never tried it before so let's take a look. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think. I like IPAs. Some people don't because it's too hoppy but um, let's try this out. I'm gonna go sit by the fire and relax and enjoy this cold brew for a little while. Get back to you guys in a sec. Good morning, everybody. I slept like an absolute dream last night. That uh, mattress, the Gear Doctor mattress I was speaking about, worked extremely well. It didn't lose any air. It was great. Um, Plus it's great to wake up to something like that in the morning. So had a phenomenal sleep and it was great. I'm just gonna break up camp here and uh, get my stuff sorted. And then I'll be on to my next adventure. So thanks for joining me on this one. And if you like this content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks guys.